Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? This is Dr. Keith Henry with another quick wellness news nugget. I'm a natural practitioner and what I do is I find what we call the Week in Natural Health Review. I find articles uh, on natural health and natural health news and basically give my commentary on them from the perspective of a natural health pr- uh, practitioner. Our article today is from September the 2nd, 2019. And it's from the site health24.com. And it's entitled KFC rolled out vegan chicken in the U.S. And it proved to be a hit. But how healthy is it? Now, I'll tell you up front, I am a vegan naturopath. I am a plant-based naturopath. I eat and advocate a plant-based diet. And I um, so and this is I found this article to be very interesting. You know, I'm sure you've probably heard about you know, Beyond Meat and these vegan burgers coming out. So uh, I will tell you that I do advocate that. But I just wanted I want to share this article with you and give my commentary on it. Again, it's found at health24.com. And it's entitled KFC Road Out Vegan Chicken in the U.S. And it proved to be a hit. But how healthy is it? The article goes on to point out or to talk about how the famous fast food franchise Kentucky Fried Chicken has started to roll out its plant-based version of its fried chicken to its customers. I remember reading about it last week. I think they started out, uh, the first test place was in Atlanta. And it goes on to say here that news reports announced that KFC was the first franchise to sell the Beyond Fried Chicken made by the company Beyond Meat in one single outlet in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, as I just said, I read it, I read it at another outlet, or another article on last week. And so apparently they tested it with their customers and let's scroll down here it goes on to say here according to the, New York, to, the, to the New York Times the plant-based chicken option proved so popular in a test run that the Atlanta branch sold out in about five hours on Tuesday August the 27th so in five hours it sold out it's interesting that so many people for so long have fought against the vegan food the vegan concept and now this concept seems to be gaining ground the article goes on to point out how representatives of the company stated that the restaurant sold as many plant-based boneless wings and nuggets as it as it would sell of its popcorn chicken chicken in an entire week. It goes on to say further that the uh, say national rollout in the U.S. is not quite imminent as the results of the test run and customer feedback still has to be evaluated. So global availability is uncertain. So this, then this article asked the question, but is it healthy? And it goes on to point out how Burger King was the first big fast food franchise to introduce a plant-based option, their Impossible Whopper, which is also made by the company Impossible Foods. In the past, as this article points out, which is accurate, and this is one of the reasons that I, I encourage the plant-based diet, the article goes on to point out how in the past, many large-scale studies have been done to determine whether plant eaters or meat eaters have longer lives, and the results have been pretty conclusive. It goes on to, and they cite one study with more than 73,000 people. And in this study, the article points out that it found that a vegetarian diet can be linked to a lower risk of premature death. The article points out further that a recent study has also found that those who eat vegetarian and vegan diets have a lower incidence of all cancers, while meat consumption is linked to an increased risk of cancer. Again, this is also accurate. All the studies show it pretty conclusively. Uh... But then the the article goes on to ask, but does this count if you simply swap your normal fare of fast food for a plant-based alternative? Not quite experts. And it says not quite experts, reckon. And then they cite um, uh, Marmon Gahonam, I I, I think if I'm pronouncing that correctly, author of Total Gut Balance. And he says these meat alternatives are processed foods and like processed foods are not as healthy as eating fresh vegetables. I wholeheartedly agree. Now, I wouldn't say uh, to just eradicate these vegan alternatives, especially for those people who are coming off of meat or coming off of flesh and they're trying to eat healthier. I think this is a very good option. Or even for a, per- a person who eats a plant-based or vegan diet, from time to time, maybe to eat or dare in a, in a crunch to, to, uh, to try these foods. Yes, they are processed. But I would still advocate the, these foods more than I would advocate uh, eating flesh. They also go on to point out in, um, in this article, and they quote Dana Simpler from the Mercy Medical Center in Baltimore, uh, that quote, salt and fat are a particular concern because many manufacturers add these ingredients for the sake of flavor. 
And she goes on to say that the addition of oils for flavor and moisture makes many of these not ideal for someone with diabetes or heart disease. And finally, the article goes on to point out that another concern is the high amount of sodium that these plant-based items tend to contain. Plant-based plant -based patties, they goes on to say, have higher levels of sodium than beef patties. Nutritionists also point out that the meatless chicken is still fried and still processed and thus can't be considered a fantastic source of protein. I do agree with them on that. Uh, I think you should try and steer clear as much as possible from fried foods. They should be eaten, if at all, very, very, very sparingly. So these are good points uh, that are being pointed out in this article. Finally, the article concludes by saying, however, we should bear in mind some of the benefits of these processed plant products. They don't contain the same amount of saturated fat as in especially red meat and, is, and usually have a higher fiber content than their meat counterparts. So while the nutritious value of these products, so while the nutritious value of these products have been debated by experts, they can certainly help you switch to plant-based foods, especially if you're doing it for environmental reasons. So again, uh, this was, a, I thought, a pretty a very balanced article overall. Again, it's entitled KFC Road Out Vegan Chicken in the U.S. and it proved to be a hit. But how healthy is it? It's found at health24.com. This is Dr. Keith Henry signing out on their latest quick wellness news nugget. Thank you for listening. Until next time, take care and stay healthy.